DSC's Trailing the Hunter's Moon is presented by DSC, Conservation, Education, and Protecting Hunter's Rights. Ruger, rugged, reliable firearms. Hornady, accurate, deadly, dependable. Trijicon, brilliant aiming solutions. Wildlife systems, serving hunters and landowners since 1987. Just landed here. Time to build camp. Here in Alaska, you don't you don't get to hunt the same day that you fly in. That's, that's the law. And uh, so we got the rest of the afternoon to get all this organized, set up, settled in. We'll start hunting tomorrow morning. And this trail here is nothing but bear trap. Bear trap. Bear trap. We've got four or five miles of shoreline that we can glass and. Uh, shoreline that wraps all the way around so that'll keep the bears on the beach here feeding as they feed up for hibernation it won't be but another six weeks and these bears will head to these hills and hibernate for the winter time so they're they're gorging and feeding as much as they can right now this time of year to put as much fat on as they possibly can to get them through the winter time so when you get a fresh wave of, of spawning salmon that come in near these shorelines and start to go up these creeks that, that, that feed this bay area, it just becomes easy pickings for the bears to put on and store that fat. So I think for the next week to 10 days, we'll be camping on this beach and just relaxing and doing a lot of, a lot of spend a lot of time behind the glass. Moves of a lifetime. He's even got really long points. Huge, massive fronts, a lot of mass. Just a lot of mass. Unbelievable. You just don't know what you're going to see, man. This country's so wild. So untouched. And we're getting one of the most beautiful days that you can get on the peninsula. Oh, he's right there at the top turning his head.
This segment of DSC's Trailing the Hunter's Moon is brought to you by Double Nickel Taxidermy. That's a dream bowl for any hunter that would come to the Great North. Don't moose. Just massive heavy. Oh, we've got a pretty good vantage spot here. We can look over a lot of country camps below us here about 300 yards. This opens up a whole new arena to, to the game. Find the big brown bear. Hey bear. Oh bear. Hey. Right, y'all wanna get back. Yo. <coughs> hey. Yo. <coughs> hey. Hey bear. There he is. He's coming back. You can hear him? I can see him right there. Scoot over to your left. Back to your cliff? Yeah. Gone! Get out of here! Gone! Ha! Get out of here! Gone! Ha! Ha! Get out of here! Go on, bear! Ah! Go on! Keep moving! <laughs> well, that was exciting, wasn't it? Hey, welcome to Alaska. <laughs> you know, like he didn't care. I mean, no. The, I tell you, it's the it's juveniles the and it's the freaking sows of cubs. Yeah, I'm sleeping with my rifle loaded. Yeah. Every night. Be, uh, this segment of DSC's Trailing the Hunter's Moon is brought to you by Ripcord Rescue Travel Insurance. We got your back. Howdy, I'm Greg Simons with Wildlife Systems. One of the tenets of the North American model of wildlife conservation has to do with wildlife as an international resource. The first international wildlife law that was created was in 1918, the Migratory Bird Treaty Act, and it was a law that yielded great results with the recovery of lots of different waterfowl species over the next several decades. And when we think about uh, international 
wildlife or wildlife that's short shared between countries, we often think of migratory birds, but the reality is there's various mammals and reptiles that are shared between these different countries. So whether we're talking about border walls or lines in the sand, it's important that we recognize that we have laws in place that are sensitive towards those wildlife species that are shared between countries. feeling better, not 100%, but I'm feeling better. I'm still fighting some congestion in my chest. And got a pretty deep cough that is not only annoying to me, but I know annoying for the for the whole entire hunt. It's, it's been slow. We haven't seen a brown bear now for the past two days. Yeah, we've got a ton of country uh, added on to this arena now that we can play in looking for these brown bears. Aaron Steven saw some first two days when I was in the tent uh, with the flu, whatever it is I'm fighting, and, uh, so I didn't get to see those. And then it's going to be cold again tonight. It's supposed to have some winds, 25, 30 mile an hour winds tomorrow. So we'll see how that plays out. It may just be a day of sitting in camp, but if not, we'll get out and start looking over this new country we discovered. thing of it is, is I'm at what the, do we have to lose? <laughs> yeah, I'm at the pusher point. Yeah, I mean, what I mean, like either he's there or he's moved well, during our transition. So what is? I want to just check and make sure that he's not milling about on the other side. Yeah. You know. I mean, I'm off. I mean, uh, either way, I mean, if he's there, if he's there and we bump him, we're gonna see him. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's either gonna bust out this way or he's gonna bust out. To the beach. Well, let's get up just a little. We got a couple hundred yards to work with, anyways. So let's just get up in there and you know keep see. Pushing. Yeah, keep pushing. DSC's trailing the hunter's moon is also brought to you by Sitka. Kenna Trek, boots for the trail less traveled. Vino gear, binocular accessories you've got to have. MB Ranch King blinds, built in pursuit of perfection. Double nickel taxidermy, 
and by Ripcord Rescue Travel Insurance. We got your back. I got it for a good, for a close broadside I got shot. it. Where's my shot? You're good. Huh? You're good. Wait. Wait for that broadside. Good spot, dude. Good spot on that. What'd I do? Oh. Uh. Oh. What just happened? What? And he's beautiful. He's big. And he's beautiful. He's His hair is beautiful. Flipping big. He just turned, as soon as he turned broadside, you shot right when I wanted you to shoot. I was about to say, shoot that way. I thought he was fixing the duck. No, he was. He was. He bush. absolutely was. Sorry, I'm holding my oh, ear. Look at the moose. Got a big bull moose on the top of the ridge. bottom jaw is broke and that tooth that whole bottom jaw is twisted over oh, and broke. Well, yeah well, it's gonna be pushing nine I mean it'll probably square over nine so bare it's all broken up in here oh, yeah. that whole cavity the whole nose cavities broke right there <laughs> yeah. 
big old bear. Very, very cool. Yeah, beautiful bear. Aaron? Hey man. Congrats. Three years in a row. That's right. 100% man. It's got to be an old bear. It is an old bear. You can I mean, tell by... The broken canine. The broken... The, the, the wear on the teeth. Fought a few battles. Yes, yes.